Katie Brown. Hello. Uh, the Chortle Comedy Awards. Yes. The room is full of funny people, of successful people. Yeah. Um, and some of these people here right now, we don't know who they are, but in a few years' time, they're going to be very famous. Yeah. Which is kind of what's happened with you. I mean, a few years ago, to the normal public, you were just known as a stand-up comedian in the circuit, but now... Not even that. Yeah, but now you're massive. Well, you know, I don't know if, I don't know if I'd go that far. Um, I see you mean massive in the sense of uh, name recognition. Yeah, that's, that's it there. Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. You're not the worst interview ever, otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, what? Uh, how did it all happen? How did it all happen? You, the, the Katie Brown show. How did it all have come about? Well, I, um, in a nutshell, I uh, I was working behind the scenes in telly. I kept bumping into people that I was at university with and who kept saying, I always thought you'd do comedy because I did loads at university. And then in the end, when I was about 25, I thought, yeah, I always sort of thought I'd do comedy as well. Why aren't I doing comedy? So I wrote myself a monologue. Uh, I found myself an open mic spot at a pub in uh, Chalk Farm. Uh, I did that and then I moved on to a, an, a weekly live show called Ealing Live where lots of... Um, of the current group of particularly sketch comedians came from. Simon Farnaby, Gus Brown. Uh, ben Wilbon, Tom Meaton, Lucy Montgomery, Alice Lowe. I mean, loads of people. Everyone you sort of see on telly doing sketches, really. And um, so, yeah, we, I did that weekly, every week, for two years. And um, uh, and that was just an amazing... I mean, when I joined, they were all... They'd all been doing it for ages, and I was just in awe of them um, and very much felt like the new girl and um, and just tried to keep up really. Then I did my own Edinburgh Festival show, uh, then I got a comedy lab with Channel 4 and then uh, ITV sort of swooped in uh, before Channel 4 had quite um, thought what to do with me and just literally commissioned six shows like that and uh, so I said yes to that and uh, here I am now. This has been the easiest interview I've ever done in my life. Well, you don't have to ask me any questions. That's amazing. I'm like a wind-up toy, aren't I? You're amazing. Uh, very quickly, <laughs> very quickly. I'm doing 40 interviews uh, in a morning. What's next for you? Uh, I've just submitted a script um, for a feature film that I'm writing. Um, Emma Thompson has rather miraculously commissioned a film for me, so uh, for her small company that she has. Um, so I've just submitted the first draft, so I'll have to see what happens with that. And um, I am... Um, just about to start on the second series of Mongrels for BBC Three. I think you're allowed a little smug grin. <laughs> well done, it's awesome. Thank you very much indeed.